Hi, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take you through my garden and I'm going to show you each of the varieties I've now got growing. After nearly four months of establishing this garden bed from nothing, today I've added up that I have 32 edible varieties in here and even I'm shocked. So here we go, I'll show you all the different bits and pieces. And by the way, that's Roadrunner. Down here we've got the mini red cherry tomatoes and a um, variety of Roma tomato, I'm not sure, it was a seedling from a girlfriend. Down and under here we have the mint, I've put that in a trough because I've heard that mint takes over the garden so when the tomatoes come out the mint can have that whole trough. Here we have another variety of Roma tomato, these seedlings were bought from a local charity shop so I don't know what variety that is either. Tucked in behind, here I have planted a row of silver beet and spinach and they're going quite nicely and if we come around to the front of this first box you will see here to the left at the front there is another variety of Roma tomato that little plant must have 20 or more tomatoes on it which is absolutely amazing and I'm not quite sure what colour they're going to be another seedling from my girlfriend she thought it might be a yellow Roma there to the right you will see two established beds of the Chandler strawberry they're producing okay but my birds um, keep getting them the whirly birds don't seem to be doing their job there but we also have my very first baby strawberry, baby strawberry plant that is, they are multiplying now. At the back on the right, here we have broccoli, a row of baby spinach tucked in to the side. At the back there, once again, there's the silver beet, just tucked in. Going over to this half, there's the rosemary bush. Coming back out, I'll show you this whole half of the bed. The whole front is um, George's Dwarf Butter Beans and they are cropping now as you will see here. Beautiful crops of butter beans all ready to harvest. All in under here for lift the plant up, there we go. And I just tucked a couple of um, lettuce seedlings that my neighbour gave me just in the front and under, under planted them in the um, butter beans they're doing nicely we come over to the back once again there's the rosemary over here we have got um, cabbage and cauliflower and under planted all through here I've popped um, dwarf pea seeds in and they're just starting to pop their heads up moving along to the other side now in here just to the left Yesterday I planted um, uh, five wildfire, wildfire chilli plants. I'm going to do a bit of a chilli crop. This is my first crop rotation here. I had um, a whole line of lettuces but they've started to come out. We've just got one of the original lettuces there. It's going to come out. So I think this is going to be my herb row. So I've tra just transplanted this basil. And here we've got a chive. As you'll see here's the little, little chilies. A little wildfire chili. At the back here, those are our watermelon and they have just flowered and got baby watermelons on them and they are loaded. There must be more than 30 sugar baby watermelons going to come off that. Moving to the front here, these are my two capsicum plants as you will see in here. We've got Capsicum started. If you look above there, you can see all the little flowers. This, these plants are loaded, man. I can't believe for such little plants that they're going to produce that much fruit. So I'm going to have to keep the water on them. Just to the right here, these are my giant runner beans. I'm calling them giant. Everything's coming out of this garden huge. Here we go. There, here's the runner beans. Running along the front, that's actually the gherkin. Now that's an interesting little plant because um, I might find somewhere else to plant them next time. They seem to like to climb. And they have wound their way up through the green beans and now my gherkin's a climber. But if we look in here, look at that, we've got 
there's a gherkin there the gherkins are cropping if we're looking down here we've got baby gherkins everywhere I'm sure if I go through that I'm going to find plenty of nice big ones and of course at the back there we've got my tricolour cherry tomatoes Kay, my neighbour up the back, well she refer, refers to them as my trees but I call them my triffids look how huge these plants are just outrageous so anyway in here are the gherkins at the back I had a cucumber I got three cucumbers off that and it seems to have done its day it was um, a potted variety though which is probably quite good if you've got a smaller garden and of course over here are the triffids if we come back around here you'll see it's run all along the front coming down over my lawn oh, and here's another one of our worthy birds there's Tweety they're made by my old family friend Cass he's 85 and he lives um, about two hours away from here still lives on his own good old stick we want to go down and visit him so here are the cherry tomatoes now I, they are loaded with fruit and look we've got now does that look like a cherry tomato for you? That's what I mean, everything in this garden is just growing so big that's almost one of my first tomatoes there that's turning but if you look here that um, I think is what they're calling these days the grape cherry tomato but of course my cherry tomatoes are triffids so they're hardly a cherry here's another one, got something in there biting it We can hardly, these plants if they were standing straight must be over 10 feet tall and if we just turn around here this is the Fijoa tree which is just um, having a second flower believe it or not it's already flowered once and um, I started intensively watering it and it has now got another whole second head of flower so we're probably going to get a really big crop off that if I come around here this garden was very neglected when we first moved in so I'm finding all sorts of bits and pieces as I get around it but here we got, we've got our poor neglected little lemon tree I've just picked a lemon off it last weekend but um, I didn't even know there was a lemon there till I started cleaning up all the and pulling out um, weeds and things that were strangling it so there we go I think that's just about it so we've got the tricolour cherries in there and the gherkins coming down the middle track there and spilling out over the lawn green runner beans down under those runner beans there are two dwarf green beans that Olivia raised at school we've got the two capsicum plants there um, one lettuce left from the first crop that's ready to come out I've got one corn I don't know that was another one that my girlfriend gave me and I just stuck it in it I don't know what that's doing um, there's the new chili bed that's gone in it's also got the chives and the basil the sugar baby watermelon run, rat watermelon running across the back if we move to the second bed here in front there are the dwarf butter beans that you can see carrying on to the left you've got your two rows of strawberries left again and you've got a row of a couple of varieties of the Roma tomatoes if we're going a bit closer over the back cabbage cauliflower and broccoli and a rosemary plant and this is all underplanted with dwarf peas which are just starting to sprout so they should fill in where the dwarf beans leave off coming across these are two rows of the strawberries and at the back we have broccoli and spinach and silver beet and there we have it everybody the glam garden